Kahuatla, but I'm a skin inch nuke nuke what in Chash Kawam, Lee Wadul can, Slatlim can, and Shamach Wachi Dreadmond. Hello, everyone, a good day, my friends. Uh, my name is Wolf, Kawam translates to Wolf. I come from the Liliwat Nation, which is also part of the Slatlium territory, but you can also call me Redmond if you'd like. Uh, so I'm just going to be here at the SLCC to show you guys uh, our medicine bag craft. Uh, this craft is uh, available here at the Cultural Center. You can purchase it with a tour, or you can also just buy the craft kit. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys uh, one of my favorite crafts here to make at the Cultural Center. So now we're going to be getting started out with our medicine bag craft. Uh, so what I have here is uh, my long piece of leather. Uh, this is pretty well going to be fitting around your neck so that way you can wear your medicine bag over your chest. Uh, so when you start out with the medicine bag, um, you're pretty well going to want to start with one side. So you're going to want to start with either the upper right side or the upper left side. Uh, I'm talking about it like for the way I'm looking at it. So when you're looking at it through the camera, It'll probably be the opposite hand, opposite side. Uh, so for myself, I start on the back side of the medicine bag and I poke my leather through the holes that have been created in the medicine bag here. I'm going to want to pull that so that way it's uh, long enough to actually fit through the other holes here. And now I'm going to bring this leather back to the back of the medicine bag. And I, again, I poke it through the hole in the back I'm going to want to pull that leather all the way through. And this is pretty well going to close up the edge of the medicine bag here. So again, I bring this piece of leather around to the back of the medicine bag, and I put it through the hole that's in the back here. And I'm just going uh, one set of holes down. So there's uh, four sets of holes that are on each side. And you're pretty well just going to want to wrap your leather uh, down around that area. And you're going to want your leather to be uh, nice and uh, have a nice um, well-edged corner so that way it can actually fit through some of these holes uh, because if you just cut your leather straight it may not fit the way you want it to. And yeah again so you're just uh, wrapping it around the edge so that way you close up the edges so when your medicine's on the inside your medicine's not going to fall out while you're wearing it. And again, I bring this leather around the back of the medicine bag here. And this is why that corner is very important on the piece of leather. So it's nice and straight here, and then you see the corner part there. That's the part that'll make it easier to make it poke through the holes here and the medicine bag. Now it's a little bit tedious. Uh, sometimes when you don't have uh, very dex dexterous fingers, makes it a little bit tougher. Uh, and sometimes when your hole puncher works just enough, it actually makes it a little bit more difficult for yourself to fit this leather through the holes here. Uh, so sometimes making it easier on yourself, you can stretch the holes. Uh, so it makes it a little bit wider. And yeah, you are going to struggle a little bit to put some of these um, to fit the leather through some of these holes here. Having nails sometimes might help with this. It makes it a whole lot easier. <laughs> and now when you're going to be adding on beads, um, you have to finish one side of the medicine bag first before you add on beads. So you'll add on beads to this top part and also through this bottom part here. Um, for the medicine bags, you are going to want an uneven number of beads because there is this one section here that actually closes. There's a little hole that one bead will fit through there, and that'll be your uneven number of beads there. Uh, so the beads, they come in a little package here. Uh, sometimes if you're doing this in big groups, we used to do this in big groups uh, before COVID, and we used to always get people to trade the beads because it was a tradition to trade beads. Uh, so I'll just lay out my colors here. I think I'm going to try match mine up a little bit. There you go. I got uneven silver. 
Everything else is an even number here, so it looks like I got about 11 beads here. <coughs> uh, so I'll put each color on each side. So I'll start out with the dark blue, a light blue. You can color code out however you feel like. Uh, this package of beads here is uh, looks like it's more specific to blue. If you have any other beads at home, go right ahead and add them on. It's up to yourself. This is your craft. You're gonna be enjoying it the way you like to. Uh, so me, so I've added four beads on this side here. And in order to fasten those beads, I'm just gonna tie a knot at the bottom of the medicine bag here, just so those beads don't slide anywhere. You know, they will move a little bit. Um, I did give them a little bit of space um, a lot of the times uh, this is uh, for some school groups that we do, so I know kids or even people with uh, ADHD have a hard time uh, trying to keep their mind busy, so I always like to keep these beads uh, to be able to move a little bit. Uh, sometimes people like to add them on the long string here, so when you add them on the long string here, you, have to actually d you don't have to tie them or fasten them in their spot. You can uh, just let it sit there. Uh, so now I got all my beads on one side here. So there's uh, five beads there. There'll be five beads on the other side and my 11th bead will be fastening the medicine bag closed. Uh, so now I have uh, my leather here again. And again, I'm gonna poke it through the back of the medicine bag. Uh, I am gonna poke it through both sets of holes so that way It'll uh, close up my bag, and again, you know, sometimes nails help with this a little bit. Uh, you're gonna wanna leave, uh, leave it a little bit longer than the other side because you are gonna be wrapping it, and it will eventually become the same size as this side here. And you want a little bit of a section there, so that way you can actually put your medicine bag over your head. And again, when I bring it through the front, I go right to the back of the, the medicine bag here. I'm always going through the back. You grab that cornered piece there, poke it through the hole. And you grab the end of the leather through the front side. If I could just poke it through. Uh, so these medicine bags, uh, what I put inside my medicine bags, um, I usually put sweet grass in there. I put a little bit of uh, sage in there. Uh, it could be juniper sage, could be cedar sage. You know, there's different kinds of uh, sages out there. And I, I always like to mention to my groups that I don't like to keep this uh, to become 100% uh, First Nations. You know, we're all from different parts of the world. We all have uh, different medicines that are close to us. Uh, so sometimes it could even be like a, a lucky penny or a lucky coin that you can uh, toss inside the bag here but it's, uh, it's up to you, it's your medicine. So again, I've came through the front side here and I'll bring my piece of leather through the back, poke it through the back of the medicine bag and I wanna make my way through the front. And again, you're gonna wanna be um, closing up these sides, these edges here, so that's why I go from front to back. So I go in through the back of the medicine bag, pull it through the front and it fastens the edges right there so that way your medicine will not slide out. And again, from the front side, back to the back side, of, and in through the holes. And you should have a little bit of leather that's left over that will uh, leave a little tail, just like we did on the first side. Yeah, you're gonna wanna pull it so that way it fastens the edges closed. Uh, sometimes uh, you do have to rotate it as the leather does become a little bit messy, sometimes you want it to look uh, nice and straight. <coughs> and there you have it. You'll uh, add your beads again on this one side here. Uh, what did I start out with? The dark blue, and then I went into the lighter blues. So the dark blue, this nice medium blue. Right after we had the crystal clear one still a little bit blue there, and the light blue.
And again, to hold those beads in place, you're going to want to tie a knot at the bottom. Uh, so that way your beads won't slide off or fall off. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> I messed up one part. I forgot a bead. Um, so yeah, uh, sometimes mess ups do happen. Uh, before I put that string through, I should have uh, put this one other bead there to make it more even. Um, but yeah, uh, we're only human, people forget. Um, and I'll show you guys our uh, last part here. Uh, so we have a smaller piece of leather that'll actually hold the medicine bag closed and you're just gonna need uh, one extra bead there. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna poke this through the two holes in the front. Before I poke the other side through, I wanna put the bead on. So you slip that leather right through the middle of the bead there. You pull your leather through. And then you're gonna put this other end of the leather in through the second hole. So there's two holes in the front there. Uh, so when you get that bead sitting there like that, you're gonna tie your two tails in the back here and this part will actually be hidden, so this will make the medicine bag look uh, very nice. Uh, so not only just single knotted, I'm gonna make it a real good knot, so I'll make sure that I tie that nice and tight and so it's not going anywhere. <coughs> and yeah, so the front of the medicine bag has this uh, little hole that's cut there, and that's actually where the bead will fit. And there you have it, there's our medicine bag craft. I would like to thank you guys uh, for joining me here today. I uh, hope you guys are just as uh, human as I was and uh, forgetting to count where your beads go. Um, things like this uh, does happen. And again, I'd like to thank you for joining us. Red.